that's grandpa's calendar let me take a moment and explain that so my grandpa had a uh, a little cabin little shack really up on a quarter section of land he bought a long time ago him and his dad just bought that as their little place to get away and we used to go up there as kids now i was born in 68 so i remember going up there as a kid and seeing this calendar on the wall somebody either my grandpa or one of my uncles put this up way back in 1973 and they just left it there and it's funny because you can even tell on some of the side of the picture it's been chewed by mice or whatever and it's one of those things that just happens and then it just stays and it becomes part of the landscape so it stayed all through my childhood and then later on as an adult i did some hunting up there and such and this calendar was was there this entire time and then uh, finally, of course, Grandpa passed on and Grandma passed on and the, the cabin and all the land was sold and all that. But before that happened, I went and I grabbed this calendar because it's kind of part of a continuity. Grandpa had his, uh, had his cabin up there for, for freedom and uh, to get away and do his thing. And I have this for my freedom, so there is no better place for that calendar to be than right here. Uh, I don't think Grandpa would have wanted to do something like this. It wasn't his jam, but it's my jam. But it was the same idea. And hopefully one day my grandkids will do uh, something similar and maybe they'd like to, to carry on some of this too. Anyway. Uh